Hey guys, it's the Aquaponics Nerd here again. Um, I just had an idea for a, a quick little video, so uh, this one won't take long, but uh, what I wanted to talk about today is, um, is growing in a DWC without air. Um, so everywhere you look, every video you see, or any of the information that I've come across anyways, um, in DWCs you need air stones, you need to inject air into the water to keep your plant roots healthy and keep your your float system um, working properly and, and the plants developing the way they, they should. And so oxygen is the key and that's absolutely true and that's if you have your your plants floating directly on the water um, with no air space in between you absolutely do need air stones. Uh, but there is an alternative and you just need to design your your uh, grow beds in such a way that your plants can sit on top of them. And so I'll just show you guys really quick. Um, it's really quite simple. Uh, keep in mind I just planted these plants so they're a little bit uh, limp. I just transplanted them. And here's one of my little grow beds. Little uh, 2 by 4 grow beds that I put together here in the last few days. Um, and so you can see, all I've done is used a vinyl lattice to elevate the plants. And so, now if you look underneath here, and I lift up this lattice for you, you see what the roots are doing. And now, so the roots are hanging down into the water, but there's an air space there. And so that, coupled with just a little bit of oxygen that's, that's added to the water when the, uh, the inlet flows in, is enough for these plants to, to do great without air stones. And so I'll do an, another video here in the near future that shows these plants a little bit more developed. But um, this is a great method and it doesn't have to be exactly what I'm showing you there. If you've already got rafts built that, um, that you're using styrofoam or there's a whole bunch of different methods I've seen out there, put a lift underneath it. Put sections of styrofoam underneath it, lift the, your floats off the water two or three inches, enough to, to make that airspace between the, the base of the raft and the water that allows the oxygen to get into the roots and so part of the root is submerged and it's doing your nut nutrient uptake and, and doing what it needs to to give the plants what they need to grow. But the other part is getting that oxygen all the time. So it's uptaking and, and doing it all with that oxygen. And so it's, it's perfect and it saves you the cost and the energy of, um, of having to use air pumps and air stones and all those sorts of things, which is fairly substantial. If you have large float beds, it takes a lot of energy to run all those pumps. So um, anyways, quick and easy. Um, like I say, you can use any material you want. Uh, I'm sure you could do it in, in plywood. Um, you could do it like I do. You could do it with your uh, styrofoam rafts. Um, lots of different ways to, uh, to do this, but just ensure that there's that you know, a little bit of airspace, it's not a perfect science, but you know, maybe an inch minimum up to two or three is pretty good as long as you have the root structure and um, you'll be good to go. Your plants will be happier and, and healthier for it and your power bill will be that much less. So uh, thanks for tuning in. If you have any comments, let me know. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and, and as always, more recommendations for new ideas and different videos are, are always welcome. Thanks, guys.